Xbox says to hell with it. It launches uh, price details for launch for the Xbox Series X, along with this announcement the day before for the Series S. They gave you full Xbox all access details, the whole kit caboodle. It is now out the bag. But one final question remains. What is it? Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another episode of The Medicine. Do me a huge favor, y'all. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason. And y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right. Day prior. Xbox Series S, as in Sam, information was released. It was quote unquote leaked. I'm not buying it at this moment. I'm just giving you my own personal thoughts. I think it was a controlled leak, a smart one to help, you know, turn what was becoming a sour discussion on Xbox to the right path. So I'm not mad at them for doing it. I'm just, I'm just not buying the, I didn't know this was happening type thing. I, I'm not buying it. With that being said, they just said, okay, let's continue to roll with this. This was successful. And now they've released the Xbox Series X. Okay, so now let, let's do this. Let me show you something. All right, let's go to the screen here. This is the official tweet from Xbox. It says, this is the tweet. Xbox Series X 499, Xbox Series S 299. Release date is November 10th. Uh, Pre-order starts September 22nd. Wow power your dreams and here goes a link i would presume to uh the little article and it says xbox series s and xbox series x launched november 10th starting at 24.99 a month with xbox game pass ultimate and ea play so all that is bundled inside when you talk about the ea i mean the all access portion of it and what all access is is you can um i don't want to say lease you, you you can on credit you can pay for two years on the box you can break up the payment into two years and in that two-year payment you get uh game pass ultimate game pass which includes live and is now about to include ea play as well now we're going to talk about that portion on our patreon content so definitely go to bntsnetwork.com forward slash patreon to hear our discussion on that but with all that said the whole ea play thing is just you know going to be added to that and that also adds uh, makes that even a, a bigger deal right so with all that happening with the fact that we know now that they are offering a low entry point situation uh with the xbox series s for people to get into next generation that they got the most powerful console again with the xbox series x that they are giving you um xbox all access you know chopping it up into 24.99 if you want the s you sign a two-year agreement for that 34.99 if you want the x you can sign a two-year agreement for that you know what i'm saying and then now ea um ea play as they call it formerly known as ea access where you get the vault content you know what i'm saying not the one that drops day and date on pc but where you can get access to the vault content that is now being bundled in the game pass as well i mean look you got the you 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 got everything rolling you got everything rolling on so many cylinders. Well, I don't want to say everything, but you got so many things rolling on so many syllable cylinders. This should this should be the knockout punch, right? Maybe not. It's like how I explain here. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if I as I explain here to this tweet, I say to Xbox, okay, we got the specs, we got the bargain, all access. We got the date. Now all we need is the main pillar. The quality games. Let's go Xbox. Show us what you got. So what do I mean by that? I mean simply this, y'all. I get it. <laughs> I totally do. I'm having discussions behind the scenes. My broadband bully brethren. 
my stadium brethren, you know, even, you know what I'm saying? They getting caught up in the hype too. I'm talking to so many people behind the scenes, you know, about this. And I'm trying to warn them. I hate to get biblical on y'all. Don't be the children of Israel. For those that know the biblical text that I'm referring to, it states in it that the children of Israel, after, you know, journeying to the promised land, actually walked around the woods for 40 years because they didn't they didn't they didn't own the the god degree that was being given to them and by the time they was just going in circles for 40 years just taking the same path because they were not taking the direction that they were given the god degree that they were given to get them to the promised land and by the time they finally got there after that 40 years, most of them had died off. I think there was only two that finally made it. And here's what I'm saying. The reason why I brought that up is, here's the thing, y'all. We keep going in circles <laughs> when it comes to this stuff. We've already been here. The Xbox Series S, when it launched back in 2016, it had a successful run. Why did it have a successful run? Because in its circumference, it had triple A content that was buzzworthy that people wanted to play with the new tech, right? And when I say new tech, yeah, it was really new tech, even though it was the weakest, weakest link of the tech for this generation. It was new at the time that it launched. It was the first console to boast any 4K capabilities with that 4K upscale. And then, right before it, Quantum Break had launched. A month after it, um, Gears 4 had launched. And then for those that got the system that didn't touch Halo 5 at the moment, they got to play Halo 5. So they had three quality titles introduced in the circumference. Top-notch quality titles, I might add. I don't care what anybody say. I love me some Quantum Break. <laughs> but they had top-notch or buzz-worthy AAA content in its circumference. And because of that, along with the tech that was premiering something before its counterpart, which didn't release until a few months later, they won three NPDs, I believe, back to back to back. And have not really <laughs> run like that since then. Because after that, there was focus on the X, there was just focus on power, there was just focus on what we could put on paper to tantalize y'all for these water cooler talks, and there were no games. So, again, to avoid being the children of Israel that walked around the forest for 40 years and almost died off, I am warning you guys and gals this. What is the Xbox Series S or even the X re releasing or launching with that's going to have the people come out in droves and masses that y'all believe? That y'all believe? I mean, look at it. If I'm a casual gamer, what is my need? I'm casual. What is my need to pay an additional $300 if I already got an Xbox? I'm not upgrading just because I'm, I, I, I believe that I can jump in the next gen. I'm going to upgrade when I see something. For those that are the early adopters of next generation hardware, they don't. $400, $500 ain't going to kill them. And if they know that the S is weaker, that it's not future proof, or it's going to, in a few years, it's going to basically just be the stream box for the Xbox, then I'm going for the X. But here's my thing that I think everybody is forgetting. And I'm going to nail this home until y'all listen, damn it. When PlayStation 5 drops that Miles Morales, all right, and because it's an in-house studio, it looks better than anything that launches on the Xbox Series X. What are y'all going to do? What are y'all going to do? Because we know how PlayStation is with their internal studios. It's going to look, look, clip this, clip this baby. It's going to look better than anything launching on the Xbox Series X. And what's gonna happen 
we're going to get a remake of the God of War scenario where we were talking the most powerful console. Look at these resolution bumps, most powerful console. And Sony was just chilling in the cut like, okay, we got you. We got your most powerful console. And then just a few months later, God of War dropped and it looked better than anything on the Xbox One X, the most powerful console. A $200 offering looked better than what was on a $500 offering. And then the question was, look, man, why am I even buying this thing? And then pew, <laughs> sales fizzled since then. My message to my gaming friends, maybe it's harder for you guys to see trends, you guys and gals to see trends, but don't be the children of Israel. <laughs> understand what's happening that until xbox shows us the software that pulls people in especially at the beginning of a generation until they show us what this tech can do and counterpart to the people across the street because they're both launching at the same time until that is shown explicitly do not fall for the okie doke and just think the announcement of 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 all access to this and that and this price cut here is going to mean anything substantial to move the needle what i will say is that for those that are chomping at the bit to get a playstation 5 in uk or your wherever they they're making those aggressive price cuts at if they can't for those people that just can't hold off for a playstation 5 that can't get access to one I think they'll give a lot of them will give in and, and get an Xbox Series S just to get in the next generation. Those are like the hardcore people that are like, I just gotta get, I gotta get something new. I gotta get something. And those are the people that are gonna get it. If they can't get to play, especially but look, if the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition is just $399, if it's only a hundred dollars more than the Xbox Series S. And with that, you get nine teraflops of power and you get that fidelity that they're going to show with that Miles Morales. That 1440p box, man, please. So again, we need software or we need an offering that's going to move that needle substantially in order to match the rhetoric that y'all saying right now. Right now, y'all are just emotionally worked up. Y'all letting this water cooler talk get to y'all. But I will tell y'all, like I told y'all in my last video, what can move the needle? Xbox has to get stellar day and day content and Game Pass. It's its primary plat uh, this primary product. It got to get it for launch. And no, I'm sorry. As cool as it is over time that EA is adding their EA games to the library via via EA Access, those are vault games. Those are not, you're not getting a subscription EA games day and date in Game Pass. Those are vault games. So that's more old games. What Game Pass needs is it needs day and day content to draw on the masses because that's your premier, that's your premier product and service. So again, I say sign a Cyberpunk 2077 or I don't know what else is coming out launch time. I know it ain't gonna be an Ubisoft game because they got Uplay Plus. But whatever else is coming out around launch period, you need two games that launch and game pass day and date for 30 to 60 days. If you can only get 30, then great. And you got to drop the duffel for that. There has to be something that is somewhat exclusive. Like, and even if it's not the game, you have the game exclusively, you're... Um, you have the exclusive subscription service that is going to have this content day and date. If you do something like that, and then you slap the two ninety nine, I can get I can get a next gen offering of Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven for two ninety nine. Oh man, I'm there. You see what I'm saying? Bundle, bundle Game Pass in with the Xbox Series S. Get Cyberpunk 2077 in another big ticket game, 30 to 60 days, exclusive to Game Pass. Well, not exclusive, but but you know, launch a day dating Game Pass. 
make that value go for broke make that value stick because I, again i warn you clip this clip this that when sony shows that miles morales the first party game developed by the first party studio utilizing that first party hardware all this value talk is going to go out the window <laughs> and we're going to be back where we was last week okay so again don't, don't 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 walk around the forest for 40 years and then die off because you were expecting something that just never came to fruition and that's it from your boy mm2k let me know what you think about what i had to say in the comment section below because like i always say who cares what i think and if you did like what I have to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and Yes to Stadia Dosage. And reminder, I am going to do more Patreon content, our Prognosis TV, which is our Patreon platform. We call it Lyrics to Go, where when I go on my morning walks and my brisks and all the other stuff, I talk about certain things. I'm going to talk about the all access um, portion of this and how it, it relates to um cloud gaming and all that other good stuff so definitely you want to be um a patreon member so you can get a part of that just go into patreon.com forward slash pnts network all right and 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 sign up there all it takes is a dollar in the dream baby and with that said you all have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace